So this video is about the pros and cons of $20 Walmart running shoes. Keep watching this video for more information on the pros and cons of wearing $20 Walmart running shoes. Let's go. All right, so my name is Juice. Welcome back to my channel. If you are returning back, if you're brand new here, be sure to support this channel and myself by both subscribing, press the bell notification, comment, like, and share, engage as much as possible. Once again, if you're brand new here, I mainly post videos about veganism, fitness training, and running. I'm a 10 plus year runner, avid runner, a hobbyist. I'm also a five year vegan, and last but not least, I'm a fitness trainer. I post videos about those topics or subjects if they interest you, once again, subscribe, press the bell notification. Once again, comment, like, and share, engage as much as, engage as, much as possible. I wanna make this very clear, this is not a sponsored video at all. Walmart is not sponsoring this or the brands of the shoes that I'm going to show you. Also not sponsoring this video. This is all me, all my thoughts, all my personal experience of wearing Walmart running shoes. It's been years of me wearing these shoes. I have lots to say. I'll just try to keep it short in this video, but I do have some stuff to say about these shoes. Now, also, I very much recommend for you to go to a running shoe store and try on every shoe that's, that you can so you're comfortable. To me, I think that's the best way to find out what fits you best. You know, everyone has different feet. Everyone, <laughs> everyone's different, basically. So speak to a salesperson, an expert, expert salesperson on shoes and have them help you find the, the best pair of running shoe or shoes for your situation and whatever that, that you're trying to do. That's just my opinion. But anywho, like I said, pros and cons about the Walmart shoes. I have three pairs of running shoes from Walmart that I'm currently using right now. And I wanna show you exactly um, the pros and cons about the shoes that I'm wearing at this very moment. So without further ado, the first pairs of shoes are going to be these right here. All right. I use these mainly for trail running, like, you know, your rough terrains, dirt tr type trails. Um, not so much your sidewalks. These are mainly for the trails and they do a pretty good job when it comes to that situation. Um, they do have some wear on it already. You can see some wear on them, not too much yet, but um, of course there's pros and cons with these shoes like anything else. And we'll just talk about the pros first. I love the style. I'm not gonna lie to you. I love the way it looks. Love the color coordination. Everything's just beautiful. It looks really awesome. I really love how it just looks so modern. Like these are really dope. Also, I just love the way they feel. The insides, it's like a soft cushion. And I like that a lot, especially when you're in the trail. What I speak for myself, it's comfortable. It's really comfortable when um, having something like your, your uh, just like your memory type foam um, type, type technology, if that makes any sense. It's comfortable. It really works. It helps me a lot. And it's just a nice run um, having memory foam shoes like these pairs of shoes. The brand of the shoe is Athletic Works. Never heard of them. I'm not sure if it's a large running company. I have no idea. But um, I love their design. And so far, the material is pretty sturdy. Doesn't feel too, um, too cheap. But they are cheap shoes, they're like 20 bucks, literally. Oh, they're like 17 bucks, something like that. They're very lightweight. And to me, that's a very important thing as well. Um, I, I very much need lightweight shoes um, and vent, a lot of ventilation also. So these do a great job when it comes to that. And I'm really a fan of them. The cons about these shoes, I won't lie to you, the bottom here feels very, very cheap. It feels like styrofoam. It, it is extreme. It feels cheap compared to your, you know, high brand stuff like your Nike, Adidas. You you will see a major difference in the sole of these shoes. And it, again, it feels extremely cheap. I won't lie to you, um, but they get the, they get the job done. And to me, that's all that matters. You know, if the shoe has, I don't care what material it's used. If it's vegan, of course, it has to be vegan. But um, yeah, it just, it just feels cheap. It feels very, very cheap, and that's not good, but it doesn't affect the run at all. They're like, I still have an amazing run. Things are being accomplished. Um, my, my feet are not sliding everywhere. It's um, sturdy, and of course, the back of the shoe over here, it does grip the back of my feet, so again, I'm not sliding everywhere. It, it does its job. This, these shoes are really great for what I needed to do, especially when I'm on your rough terrain. So yeah, these shoes are awesome. So the next pair of shoes, excuse me, um, these are basically, basically the same shoes. 
just different designing as you can see. Um, these are black, gray, white. The same exact shoe, just different color colors. I'm grabbing the other shoe, excuse me. <laughs> I'm so unprofessional. It's the same shoe, same company, same brand. And yeah, I'm just a fan of them. They're really dope. Um, yeah, I'm not, there's not much to say. It's the same shoe, same material in, in the very bottom. Very cheap styro styrofoam sole. But I just love the design. It's so cool looking. It looks super modern. I love it. All this, this is just dope. This, this, oh, this is sick. <laughs> I love the way it looks. But again, um, the cons right now is the sole. And I haven't really ran with these much yet. So I think after maybe a couple hundred miles, I'll start to see if it can hold up maybe 500 miles. Hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see. But um, they are cheap shoes. I'm not sure if, if I'm able to get at least 500 miles in these shoes. We'll see. So right now it's about, it's about less than 50. Like they're brand new shoes really. So yeah. Okay, last pair of shoes that I have here. This is the brand that makes these shoes right here. And I got them from Walmart as well. Right? They just seem to do a great job compared to the other shoes. These are really good for on the roads. And not so much for trails, so that's the, 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 the cons about to, the, these shoes to me. I don't think these are really great for the trails. They are fantastic for the road or the sidewalk, but not for the trails. Um, another thing that I like about the shoe is the style. I love the design. It's sick. Like, it's really, it looks so modern. It looks, it's just very simple. It's not too much going on. Very simple black shoes. And it gets the job done. I love this material here, how it stretches. It's sick, man. I love the design. And they're extremely comfortable. Um, however, these do not have the memory foam in the insides. But um, again, when I'm on, when I'm running on the asphalt, uh, like the sidewalks or the roads, um, I don't really need memory foam for that reason. It's just when it's on a trail. It seems like when, it, like when I'm on a trail, that's when it gets really, it's rough terrain, obviously. So I need a lot of cushion when I'm landing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just necessary, but these shoes are great for the roads. A lot of ventilation. I mean, you feel wind between your toes everywhere. It feels amazing. Vent ventilation everywhere. It's sick. Of course, there's cons with these shoes. And the biggest problem that I've seen um, so far is um, the width of the shoe is kind of wide and my feet are not that wide. And you can see here, it's like tightened up hard. Like it's almost, completely tight and I it still doesn't feel like there's a good grip it still gets the job done you know like my I, I do see my feet kind of sliding everywhere a little bit but it's not too crazy because I'm on the road if it were on the rocks the terrain it'll be a big problem because that's just really dangerous your feet sliding everywhere are very rough terrain not a good idea but something um, smooth and not too rocky but you know just the asphalt a smooth sidewalk these do a great job so um, it's not too much of a big deal that my feet are sliding a little bit, but I do see that with these shoes. So um, yeah, um, another reason why I think these shoes are awesome. Personally, I think um, it, it's 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 not it's not too uh, flexible. Sometimes that could be a problem, and when it's too flexible, I think that's that, that could be a big problem, um, especially when I'm on the asphalt. I'll just speak for myself. The the, the stretchiness of shoes are great to me personally on the trails, not so much about the asphalt. Um, so uh, I guess these are really good for that reason um, that they're not too flexible. So that's really awesome. And the soles in the bottom, they feel like rubber. Compared to the other ones, these feel, there's a big difference. These are real rubber. They just, this is real rubber sole. You can kind of see it too. It seems kind of sturdy. And oh, look at that. You can kind of see that. Very cheap styrofoam So. So big difference, major, major difference. Um, so these are the current shoes that I'm wearing right now when I'm training, when I'm running. Um, did I say any cons for these? I don't think I'd say, yeah, yeah, just the width here just kind of feels too loose, but that's about, that's really the, the only problem I have with these shoes so far. And these are still brand new. It's, you can see it's not too much wear and tear yet. So when I, when I get to a couple hundred miles and I really start to see if they can handle 500 plus miles, which will be amazing. We'll see. I usually land a lot. Um, well, of course, I land flat, but um, it does start with the heel, obviously, first. So we'll see 
if it can handle those 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 strides and everything they can it's still in good shape and not deteriorating and you know we'll see so we'll do that listen um like i said before um i think it's very important that you go to actual running store to try on the shoe try on all the shoes to see what fits you best because this this whole thing about um purchasing expensive shoes like nikes or adidas we're, we're talking at least 150 and up easy you know just because you're spending more money on shoes doesn't always mean it's going to be good quality i'll say that one more time um just because they're expensive running shoes doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be good quality shoes because i've ran with really expensive shoes before and I'll, I'll tell you right now some walmart shoes are way better depending on your situation or in you, you as a person but i've just noticed sometimes walmart 20 dollars shoes are way better options than buying the most expensive shoes that's in the market right now because sometimes you're just paying for the name like your nike adidas Re reebok you're, you're paying for the name more and um the the, the material is not always the best um, the shoe may not just fit you well. It just all depends on you. That's what I'm saying. It's really important that you go to a running store and try on the shoes to see what fits you best and just go from there. Don't take my advice. Don't take any, any, no one's advice on YouTube or social media. Um, you have to see what fits you best. You have to see what's comfortable for you. Everyone's feet <laughs> are different. Everyone's situation are, is different. Maybe you're just trying to do a 5K, a half marathon. I don't know what your situation, what you're trying to do. Maybe you're into like running on the treadmill. It just all depends on you, what you're trying to do. So go see that expert, the salesperson at these shoe stores, this running shoe store, and, and get, get with these people and figure out what works best for you. I think that's to me the best way to go about finding the right pair of shoe that fits you. Even at Walmart, you might find really good shoes at Walmart. You never know. You know, I ran with them for years and I really enjoy them a lot. They're not the best. I just showed you they have pros and cons like everything else but they do get the job done most of them do a great job and what i needed to do um you know when i'm doing what i'm doing when i'm training so there you go hope this video helps you hope you got some value from this uh any questions let me know please um let me know what kind of shoes are you using right now if you have some walmart shoes um that i don't know of that you want to let me know that's available because I'm, I'm 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 down you know it, it's nice saving some money but it's more about being comfortable. So I don't mind spending two or two hundred dollars on shoes. If it if it'll get the job done, let's do it. That's how I look at it. But yeah, uh, let me know what kind of shoe you're wearing right now when you're training. If it's some Walmart shoes or not, um, comment down below. We'll just go from there. Much love to you. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you got some value once again. And I'll be back with more videos. Peace out.